Turkmen cuisine, the cuisine of Turkmenistan, is similar to that of the rest of Central Asia. Plo pilaf, is the staple, everyday food, which is also served at celebrations. It consists of chunks of mutton, carrots and rice fried in a large cast iron cauldron similar to a Dutch oven. Monti are dumplings filled with ground meat, onions or pumpkin. Sherpa is a meat and vegetable soup. A wide variety of filled pies and fried dumplings are available in restaurants and bazaars, including samsa, gutap, often filled with spinach, and ishlikli. These are popular with travelers and taxi drivers, as they can be eaten quickly on the run, and are often sold at roadside stands. Turkmen cuisine does not generally use spices or seasonings, and is cooked with large amounts of cottonseed oil for flavor. Shashlik, skewered chunks of mutton, pork, chicken, or sometimes fish, grilled over charcoal and garnished with raw sliced onion and a special vinegar-based sauce, is served in restaurants and often sold in the street. Restaurants in Turkmenistan serve mainly Russian fare such as pelmeni, buckwheat, grechka, galub sea, and a wide variety of mayonnaise-based salads. Lagman, and Uyghur noodle dish, can also be found in some areas. Melons in the culinary arena, Turkmenistan is perhaps most famous for its melons, especially in the former Soviet Union, where it was once the major supplier. Though very few melons are exported today, they are a great source of national pride in Turkmenistan and subject of their own Melon Day holiday. Turkmen sources claim the country is home to up to 400 distinct varieties. Bread Meals are almost always served with naan, Central Asian flat bread, known locally as korke. Turkmen bread is prepared differently from other breads in the region in thick, round disc-shaped loaves baked in a traditional tandar clay oven. Bread has a high symbolic importance in Turkmen culture, and it is considered highly impolite to turn a loaf of bread upside down or to mistreat bread in any way. There are many superstitions based around bread and its preparation. Bread baked with meat inside, etli korke, or meat bread, can be consumed as a meal in itself. Yegali korke, literally, oily bread, is a flaky, layered type of flat bread made with butter. Beverages As in the rest of Central Asia, green tea is the primary drink, consumed at all hours. In the Turkmen language, chai. Tea can refer to eating a meal or sitting down for a visit. In the Dashogas region, it is sometimes drunk, Kazakh style, with milk, often to disguise the salty taste of the drinking water in that area. Gadik, a thick drinking yogurt similar to kefir, is often served with breakfast and sometimes used as a condiment on boric or monti, replacing the traditional sour cream. The drink the nation is known for, however, is chow, a fermented camel's milk, which is a white sparkling beverage that has a sour flavor and is popular in Central Asia, particularly in Turkmenistan. Because of specific preparation requirements and it being extremely perishable, chow presents a great challenge for importers to ship outside Turkmenistan or the region for foreign consumption. It is similar to the Kyrgyz drink shoro. One source notes that Turkmen's like to get agaran, a type of butter, from the surface of chow. Travelers have the following description of the cooling effect and preparation of the chow. Where Turkmen cuisine positively shines is in its dairy foods, from both cows and camels. I tasted the famous chow, fermented camel's milk, and it proved wonderfully cooling in the intense heat. To make chow, the cream is skimmed off the milk, and the milk is thinned with water and left to ferment slightly, that skimmed off cream, when it too is fermented slightly, becomes agaran, a rich, thick and extremely nourishing treat. Alcoholic beverages Vodka is the most popular alcoholic beverage, due to its low cost, followed by beer, wine, brandy, and sparkling wine, Russian, sampansko shampanskoy. See also Soviet cuisine References External links One Turkmen Kitchen VOPR Pitten. Chemical Composition of Chow, Fermented Camel's Milk 1954 July to August 13 4 41 to 2 
Martinenko, NL, Yagodinskaya, SG, Adindov, AA, Charyev, KC and Kumadov, O, 1977. Content of trace elements, copper, manganese, molybdenum in culture of chow and camel's milk and their silnical significance. Dairy Psi. ABST, 40, 7802, p. 824. B. Fay and P. Esenov, eds. Desertification Combat and Food Safety. The Added Value of Camel Producers. Volume 362 NATO Science Series, Life and Behavioral Sciences. OS Press Publication, February 2005, 240 pp, hardcover ISBN 1586034731. Philip Nubel. Golden Century of the Turkmens. A Bleak Picture of Village Life in the Desert. Eurasianet Photo Essay, 25 October 2002 Turkmen Dining http colon slash slash viajes, guias, asia, turkmenistan, conventiones underscore sociales.